Sintering is the process of taking a laser and heating up the powder so much that it turns it into a liquid. Like all the voids in between all the powder particles end up collapsing and it creates this gooey, plasticky stuff that creates a depression in your bed. And then when the applicator fin goes across, like in the animation here, usually with small cross sections, you can apply the powder and what's left over goes over into the overflow bin. You know, you contrast that against a large area, like in this animation here, and eventually you'll center so much in the bed that it'll create a huge crater. And no matter how much that applicator fin goes, it's eventually going to run out of material and it won't get all of the powder all the way to the end of the thing. So the applicator will move across, it'll start to fill in all of the remaining areas, but eventually the middle part will run out and you'll have this kind of horseshoe shape that's, you know, that's not going to work. Especially if you have many layers of that, it'll just build up and build up. Now here's an example of one of the models that I'm working on. And the Citratec Central wants you to put these large areas like on an angle so that way you don't actually have a full cross section like this. But I really like the way this looks when it's nice and smooth and nice and flat. So I've been trying to work with it like this, trying to figure out a way to do it. And it's hard to see, but in the first few layers, you'll see that the there won't be enough powder to go to the overflow, and you'll have these little like tree ring lines on the end. If you have enough layers, this one has some like 15 layers um, when it centers, eventually it will just keep building up this issue where it won't apply enough powder to the end. It'll just keep flowing into the crater, and it won't get to the end. Um, like right here, it's centering on top of the previous layer because it didn't put enough powder down. At this point, it's kind of a gamble if you want to go with this. And also, if you have any geometry that's to the left of the of the element as well, then that can just be totally destroyed. Um, as it applies the next layer here, it's going to fill that, the crater. And, and once again, now this is two or three layers where it didn't get enough powder to the end. I think this is basically a failed print. I'm hoping to build a plugin that detects any large centered areas and then anything that's to the left, based on that cross-sectional area, it'll color it a certain way before I bring it into Citratech Central. That's the latest thing I'm working on. Obviously, the simple solution is don't have large areas. If you have a large area, reorient your geometry in a way that will have lesser of a cross-sectional area. But if you know how to play with it enough, you can sometimes get away with having large models like that.